Hi everyone, want to introduce you to some of the best lightweight EMTBs of 2024. All the motors, all the brands, and all the tech. Okay, first up, let's have uh, some kind of definition of what exactly is lightweight. Could it be a bike such as Danger Home's Scott Lumen E-Ride at 12.9 kilos? Well, at the same time, there's full power e-bikes like the Stork with 112 newton meters that come in at under 20. Yeah, well folks, let's get our whistle stop tour rolling. Okay, obviously we need to have some kind of benchmark here and I think Danger Home's bike is exceptional. 12.9 uh, kilos, remember his bike is a full custom build with that TQ motor, but then again, it is pretty exquisite. Now, when you're thinking about what lightweight EMTB to buy, it's not just about the motor and the battery, it's also about the wheel size and, of course, the suspension travel, this is the Conway Revon uh, LT 10.0, weighs in at 19.2 kilos, uh, 170 mil travel front and rear. It's the new Bosch SX motor with a 400 watt hour battery. And as an alternative from Conway, this is a trail bike. It's 150, 150 travel, 29 inch front and rear, and they've managed to drop that weight respectively. So that is 17.6. Rotfield's RE375 Ultra, 19.5 kilos, 29 inch wheels front and rear, 170, 160 mil travel. The cool thing about this bike is that it's got the Shimano EP8 with two different profiles. You can either run it at 60 newton meters or 85. So Rotfield had the RX275. This is a lightweight bike. This is 15.5 kilos, 130, 120, so short travel bike, so you can really drop that weight down. A motor TQ HVR50. Okay, well, I'm with the cool guys here at uh, the SRAM stand. Track Fuel EXE, a great example of a bike with a TQ HPR 50 motor, 360 watt hour battery, 150 mil travel. It's a proper full on trail bike, 29 inch wheels front and back. I really do have to introduce you guys to this bike from Marcus Stork. It's the, uh, the Ground One E Radar 240, 480, 720 modular battery system. That's the key part about this bike. So you can actually change the weight of the bike depending on the, on the battery use. So the E Radar motor there, 80 Newton meters. Uh, this bike's gonna be available uh, first quarter of 2024. Uh, yeah, keep an eye out for it, guys, because uh, Stork do some very cool bikes. So the modular battery there, that is some of the future there because it's 1.1 kilo per pack and you can you know you can adjust the weight of the bike through how much battery power you want right yeah exactly remember folks there's some bikes uh, which we can't feature here in eurobike because they're not here such as the forestal with the bafang motor and oh the giant trance advance the uh it's fully adjustable you can adjust the torque on the motor anywhere from 20 newton meters up so that's full powers under 19 kilos? Exactly, that's a consideration you guys need to think. Do you actually need a full power bike which you can adjust? So Nikolai Saturn 14 Swift is probably one of my favorite examples of the Bosch SX motor. It's an aluminium frame on 50 travel front, 130 travel rear, 29 inch front and rear wheels. It's a beautiful system there. It looks super clean, but it also comes in a few different configurations. So varying travel, 140, 130, and even all the way down to 120 and 106. So great options, loads of different configurations to see the Bosch SX motor on. Coming in 2024 is the TOC Project 4. Uh, what's great about this bike, again, it's the modular setup. Uh, you've got the range extended 250, but you also got the, the option of having a 400, a 500, which is fitting on the bike now, and if you want more range, 725. So obviously, this has got the Bosch SX motor, so you need to think about your rider weight, what power modes you're gonna be using. If you're gonna be in the main power mode, full power, then it's gonna use more battery. That's a sharp looking piece of kit. That's the KTM eScarp X Sonic. Now, this is 16.5 kilos, but the price tag to match is 11,099 euros. So you can get lighter weight the more money you spend. But hey, look over there, slightly lower spec, slightly different version. That is 4,000 euros cheaper and hey, it's 18.5 kilos. So, you know, price tag has got to come into it. 
prototype, but hopefully available uh, early 2024. The Crossworks, one of uh, the highlights of Eurobike Show, 140, 140, 29-inch wheels, Bosch SX motor, Gates carbon drive, and of course, the showpiece, the classified two-speed hub. 400 watt hours in the down tube. The Obeo Rise, one of the pioneers of lightweight e-mountain bikes. This has got the Shimano EPA01 RS. Now, that motor is the Shimano motor, but able to be reduced oh, newton meters in the first bike that we saw with it. So 60 newton meters paired with a 360 watt hour battery, 29 inch reel, front and rear with 140, 140. The interesting thing about this is that Obeo have the Myo system, so you can customize your Obeo however you want, down to a T. M1 World Cup 400 SXP. That's if you want something insanely special and boutique. It does come at a price, 15,000 euros, but you've got a bike there which has got the Bosch SX motor and a 170 mil travel front and rear. Probably one of the highlights of the show. Or alternatively, the CC version at almost a third of the price, but again, the same motor and battery in this bike. It's hot enough in here. We have the Simplon Rapcon P-Max TQ, or you can choose the Bosch SX motor. So, for this version, it's 360 watt hour battery here, 150, 150. But on the customization on the website, choosing the motor, you can also go 170, 170. Now that's 17.6 kilos. I think it's great. Ah, oh, come on, Bulls, what are you doing? 5999 for a bike which is proper stunning. Features the Bosch SX motor, 140 mil travel, and uh, nothing more to say really, is there? Now, what I'm thinking with the Bosch system on these lightweight bikes is they do a range extender with 250 watt hours, but I'm thinking you could, you could probably just get a spare 400 watt hour battery because it is so small, stick that in your backpack. Motor that we don't see particularly often, maybe we're gonna see a lot more of is Maxon. Now, this is the Spherex bike. This is awesome. It's looking super clean, super crisp from Quebec, and it has 40 newton meters of torque. But Something tells me, I've heard through the grapevine, that there might be something slightly more powerful coming out soon, but this is 16.7 kilos. So again, killer price, killer weight, and customizable. You can choose a 250 watt hour battery or a 360 watt hour battery, and their own range extender at exactly 250 watt hours. Using that Max on Bike Drive Air, Thomas have used it and made the bike that says it all in the name. It's the Light Rider Ultimate. So this bike, again, is a bit more of a Clash Country star, so it's easier to shave the weight, but they've done some cool little things to make it a lot lighter. So integrated carbon cockpit and lightweight wheels. But again, it's 16.5 kilos, so not a great difference to the Spherex. So that motor is, and battery system, yeah, 3.5 kilos as the entire e-bike system. Ah, we're about to fill our proverbial boots with lightweight bikes, starting off with the Grape Zany 18.7 kilos, available very soon. Transition Relay, this is where it all started with the Fazua Ride 60. This time we've got 18.2 kilos, moving across to a very, looking, a very nice looking Focus Jam SL, 17.3, 6,199 pounds. Nice looking bike. Got the Knox bike, and then of course, these gentlemen here are looking at the Pivot Shuttle SL. Yeah. And this is possibly one of the lightest uh, lightweight bikes in the market. 16.4 kilos, 9,499 pounds. Like I said, guys, uh, four examples of bikes with the Fazua, Fazua Ride 60. There's a few other bikes which obviously cannot be missed out on our lightweight list. For example, one of the pioneers of lightweight, the Lapier E Zesty, with a Fazua Ride 60 and 430 watt hour battery, and also the Highbug Like with similar travel and battery. Featuring the new Bosch SX motor, we saw the new prototype white recently, and this is certainly a bike which we're super excited to get a ride on. The Scott Lumen caught many people's attention too with its low weight and TK motor, which is another to look out for. And last but not least, the new Specialized Levo SL, which was launched in May 2023, and its stablemate, the Canevo SL, the longer travel flying machine. Thank you guys so much for joining us. It's been a cool experience to be able to see what the brands have to offer, you know, and what really defines a lightweight e-bike. So you've got, you know, weight is the big one, but battery size, spec, motor size, motor torque. So it's cool. Leave a comment down below in what you think was the best bike and what you see as a lightweight e-bike. And also what do you think the future might hold for lightweight, low powered bikes? Yeah. I mean, take this for example from Star Union, uh, 75 newton meters, 2.3 kilos, but it's the sheer dimensions. Look how small that is. Surely that is one that we'll see more of in the future. Thanks for joining us guys.